guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today my name is going to really mean something because I'm putting the Dolce in this dessert. It's such a sweet treat. The best last minute recipe if you're looking for something really quick and easy to make, perfect to bring with you on any occasion, a great Valentine's Day little recipe, Mother's Day recipe, it's great for a baby shower, wedding shower, what have you. And this is with the help of this lovely ingredient, Nutella. We all love Nutella, so I was trying to figure out a great way in order to make a delicious recipe using only three ingredients. So if you have a Nutella, an egg, and some flour at home, you can easily make these delicious Nutella Nutella cookie cups. They are like the perfect little bite-sized treat of Nutella and they're honestly gorgeous. So beautiful, so easy to make. Anyone can do it. You don't really need any special ingredients or tools. All you really need are the ingredients that I mentioned plus a mini little cupcake tin. I like to use mini cupcake tins because I find that this is just the perfect little bite-sized cookie. So without talking too much, let's get started and let's make these delicious, addictive mini Nutella cookie cups from scratch using only three ingredients. So what we are going to do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees and then we are going to get started because I bet you were going to make these cookies before the oven even preheats. So now is the time to do that. So with your oven set, we are going to get the ingredients ready. All you'll need is one bowl, so one medium-sized bowl. And now to this bowl, we are going to be adding one cup of Nutella or 275 grams right to the bowl. And you really wanna scrape out the Nutella and get every last drop. Next, you'll be adding one large egg to the Nutella, so 45 grams approximately is usually how much an egg is. So just add that right to the Nutella. And at this stage, we are going to give this a quick whisk. You can use even a handheld beater if you don't have an electric whisk, but I just find it really easy. And this literally takes about a minute. So just carefully mix the Nutella and the egg until it is nice and combined. It should look nice and shiny and fully incorporated. So you really want all the egg and the Nutella to come together. And like I said, it will only take about one minute. Next, we have three quarters of a cup of flour. The flour is about 105 grams, more or less. So we're going to add the flour all at once right to the Nutella and egg mixture. And we are going to beat this again, just on a really low speed until the flour is incorporated. We don't wanna over mix. So at this stage, you can even just lightly beat it get rid of the beaters and then even just continue folding it and mixing it by hand. It will look like a nice crumbly dough at this stage, but you can pat it down and the dough becomes actually very wet and compact, which is just perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for. And there you have it, your dough has come together. Guys, that honestly only took a minute and we already have the dough portion of these cookie cups ready to go. So now we have a muffin tin. This is a 24 or two dozen muffin tin, mini muffin tin, but really this recipe makes 12 little mini cookie cups. So if you only have 12, that will be perfect. This dough is great for 12. But what I love about this dough is that it is so easy to simply double the recipe. So feel free to double this recipe if you would like to make even more cookie cups. And I will have the exact ingredients and instructions on my blog, ladolchalisa.com. So check that out in the description box down below. All we need to do with this cookie batter is simply place it inside this cupcake pan. It is very easy to do. And what I like to do is I like to use about a tablespoon as just a guiding measurement, more or less. So about a heaping tablespoon is what I use to scoop out the dough. But of course you can do this by eye by all means. I like to scoop out the dough and roll it with my hands. So I form it into a little ball and then I simply place it inside this cupcake tin and just pack it down very lightly. And I like to do it so that it's basically filled to the brim. So we're going to keep doing this 12 times, just packing it down. Because my pan is actually a nonstick pan, I don't have to worry about spraying this with oil or anything or buttering it up. But by all means, if you think that your cupcake pan will not be nonstick, feel free to do that. You can also line this with little mini cupcake liners as well, whatever you feel like, but I honestly, 
Love this tin because it's non-stick and these things just slide right out when they're done baking, so it's perfect. So with our oven preheated to 350 degrees, we are going to place this inside for about 14 to 16 minutes. I like to usually do 15, but everyone's oven is a little bit different, so just in the center rack for about 15 minutes, give or take, and you should be good to go. I know that they're done when you can see that the dough has puffed up a little bit and it almost looks like it's slightly, slightly cracking it's perfect and you're ready to go. So this is actually my favorite part. So now with our dough fresh out of the oven, we are ready to make our indentation. So as you can see, I have a melon baller and I feel like this is the perfect shape for these mini cookie cups. So this melon baller is perfect, but if you don't have that on hand, you know what, you can just make do. This is a very easy recipe. Nothing has to look perfect here by all means. You can use the measuring spoon, a little teaspoon or half a teaspoon size would be perfect. You can even use the back of like a wooden spoon if it's round enough. You really just want to make a nice concave opening so that it will look like a little tiny, basically mini bowl inside your cookie cup ready to be filled with Nutella. So lightly just press that down into your dough. And as you can see, I'm not pressing too hard. The dough is still really warm at this stage. So we're just simply making those little tiny divots in our dough. And this is going to be the best time to do it when they're nice and hot so that you can really see the indentation. And now that we have left that little scoop indentation in our cookie cups, we are going to let these cool in the pan for about 10 minutes. Since we made these indentations in our cookie dough while it's still hot, they're going to cool with that nice little dip in. It's so easy, as you guys can see, it really doesn't take much work at all. So after the 10 minutes of cooling time, we are now ready to take these little cookie cups out and let them cool further until they're ready to be filled with Nutella. So what I like to do is I like to use a little toothpick and I like to use the toothpick to scoop out the little cookie cups. They're very tiny and delicate, so you don't really wanna use a knife or anything. Thing. a little tiny toothpick is perfect they really slip out so easily because this was kind of an oily batter you didn't need any additional oil or anything they just slip right out so what I like to do is I like to let these cool on a sheet of parchment paper I just simply place a sheet of parchment paper down and place those little cookies on there to cool so after having these cool for an additional 10 minutes we are now ready to fill this with a Nutella now since we have 12 mini little cookie cups here and there's probably about a teaspoon's worth of room for the Nutella to go inside. What I kind of did was some simple math. Basically, a three teaspoons is about a tablespoon, and we have 12 cookies here, so that kind of makes room for about a quarter of a cup. So guys, you can eyeball this because I, of course, am, but I'm eyeballing about a quarter of a cup to go right inside this plastic bag. We'll not be wasting this Nutella because if you have any additional Nutella in this piping bag, just pipe it right back in this Nutella jar. No one is going to judge you. So it's better to actually have a little bit more in your piping bag than too little. We really just wanna be generous with the Nutella here. So what we are going to do is take our piping bag and pipe the Nutella in these cookies. Your cookies should be cool at this stage because they've cooled for basically 20 minutes after the baking time, so they should be good to go. So simply pipe the Nutella in each little cookie cup and by all means be generous with it. Just simply pipe it as I'm doing. And you can see the Nutella cookie cups are really coming to life with the additional Nutella. It's going to be so delicious and they look stunning. You can even eat these cookie cups as is. Essentially, it is done. This is your three ingredient cookie cup and you're ready to go. We are also going to be additionally decorating these cookie cups. I'm just going to show you two options in how you can decorate these. This is of course optional and it's technically like the fourth ingredient in these cookie cups, but I think a little nice decoration really goes a long way, especially if you're taking these to an event or making them for someone special but by all means if you guys have a Nutella craving and you're just making them for yourself you can pretty much just eat these as is. A really easy way to elevate these cookie cups is basically by using a flaked sea salt. This Malden flaked salt is one of my favorite things to have on hand at home. You just take a little sprinkling and you sprinkle this on top of the Nutella and the flaked salt will stick to that Nutella and this will give it a sort of sweet and salty vibe. Oh my gosh, I love sweet and salty things, so this is really delicious. So you can just simply add a little bit of flake salt if you wanna give these cookie cups a little pizzazz. So I'm going to be doing that to four of these cookie cups. Also, I think a chocolate drizzle looks perfect, so I'm going to be showing you a chocolate drizzle two ways. You can, of course, do this with milk or dark chocolate on top. A nice drizzle of that to really keep that 
chocolatey theme going here but if you want a little bit of contrast a little bit of white chocolate will look beautiful I'm also going to be showing you how I make a pink chocolate I'm going to do this to be really pale pale pink so it's not going to be a vibrant pink by any means it's going to be nice and pale and I actually like that because I think it just looks a little bit neutral but slightly kissed with pink if you will but by all means you can add a little bit more food coloring and make these even more pink and I'll just show you how I do that it's very simple so first things first we are going to be melting some white chocolate this is the easiest way that I do it I simply microwave the white chocolate for 30 seconds then I get out and I stir it at this stage it will still look nice and clumpy but you do want to give it a stir then back in the microwave for another 20 seconds get out and give it a stir it should almost be done lastly 10 seconds give it a stir and you're done you basically have delicious white chocolate it's ready to go ready to be drizzled on these beautiful nutella cookie cups but if it's not if you still notice some lumps simply microwave it for in increments of 10 seconds until you're ready to go everyone's microwave is different so now that we have our white chocolate melted for purposes of this video to show you how i do both ways the white chocolate and the sort of pink chocolate i'm going to be reserving half of this white chocolate so i'm simply going to be placing this in basically a little mini plastic bag you can use a little mini ziploc bag you can of course use another piping bag if you prefer now fill your ziploc bag with the chocolate and you don't really want to zip it up at this stage because it can burst out of your piping you really just want to twist the ziploc bag and you want to cut off the tiniest little tip off of this bag almost it would almost look like you can't even tell that you cut off this little tiny tip because when it comes to decorating with a chocolate drizzle the smaller the tip the prettier it looks I find so a really tiny tiny little cut and then right away simply drizzle it on these Nutella cookie cups they are already on a parchment paper so you can just go crazy with the drizzle and just discard your parchment paper when you're done and I think it looks so pretty with the white chocolate on if you guys would like to also do pink chocolate I still have that white chocolate melted and what I'm going to be doing is adding a little bit of food coloring I have this rose colored gel food coloring so I'm literally going to be taking a toothpick full and adding that to my white chocolate and just adding more as I go it's actually better to start with a little bit too little than too much because it's really easy to add more but not so easy to take away so really add a small amount of that and give it a mix until it is the pink of your liking I like a really pale pink if you do want to go a little bit more pink by all means I actually think that would look really pretty as well but that should be good for me so same step as the white chocolate ziploc bag cut off the tiniest little tip and drizzle it on the exact same way so as you can see it looks a little bit similar but the pink is just such a cute color perfect for Valentine's Day which is right around the corner and I think it's lovely or you can simply serve them and eat them as is and they are delicious it's actually incredible that these are only three ingredients guys I cannot believe it so how lovely are these cookie cups they are so cute so not only are they filled with Nutella but the batter is made with Nutella so it's really a Nutella lovers dream and guys the dreamiest part about this recipe is that it was so easy to do it literally came together in minutes using only three ingredients plus maybe a fourth if you're decorating like I did let's give these a bite I can't wait to try them even though I've had them many times before but let's give actually one of these chocolate drizzled ones a try oh my gosh they look so good and it's fully cooled so as you can see I can touch the chocolate on top and it doesn't stick to my fingers so after you drizzle it with the chocolate let it cool and now we're ready to try it I'm so excited mm. I don't have any Nutella on my teeth but guys these are incredible the cookie is like a nice chewy cookie so there's like a crispy crunchiness to the cookie it's a little bit chewy and then the inside has that Nutella so that creamy delicious Nutella it is perfectly sweetened in my opinion so it's not too sweet surprisingly even though there's like a glob of Nutella in this it's perfect as you can see we didn't add any sugar to the batter and we also didn't add any butter to the batter because there's a lot of sugar and oil in Nutella as it is which is why these are the most perfect three ingredient little Nutella cookie cups you can ever see 
And honestly, this is such a unique recipe and it's so simple. You probably would have never thought it was this easy to make something so impressive. So this would be great for Valentine's Day, like I said, or if you're bringing it to an event or you want to surprise that special someone with this perfect little sweet treat. These are absolutely delicious. So please, please give this recipe a try. I will have the full recipe, so the ingredients, even though there's only three, and the instructions on my blog, ladolcealisa.com. So check that out in the description box down below. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. All of your support means so much to me and it really helps my channel grow. So happy baking guys and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!